Hi guys, I'm Jessica and welcome back to my channel. This week, as promised, the series is going to start. This series is going to be about me trying to follow people who are a pro in a specific topic that I'm not good at at all, like no good. And I will try my best to replicate what they're doing in their videos. And this week's video is going to be about art and in the specific about painting, oil painting. What I'm gonna do is I will try to follow a Bob Ross tutorial video and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. My percentage of success is below 5%, I already know. So I apologize to who is actually good at painting because the last time I painted something was probably when I was in middle school. So actually, uh, I wanted to show you something because when it came in the mail, I started laughing and wheezing because for this video, I actually had to buy the stuff I needed to paint because I needed the canvas, the oil paints, the brushes, everything, and even a easel because I don't have one. And so I bought one on Amazon and I'll show you guys how it is. This is the easel. Aww. Look how small it is. This is my face. This is the easel. It's so small. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay guys, this is the canvas we're working with. This, it's so small. Like the easel. And I have all the colors already um, on my palette. And uh, let's just start. Let's start out today with a little bit of Indian yellow. Let's just do a painting that's fun. Indian yellow. Well, fun fact, I don't have Indian yellow and I replaced it with orange yellow, which is not the same color at all. I haven't told you the title of the video. The title is Under Pastel Skies. I'll leave the link down below to Bob's video so you can actually go check it out if you wanna. And let's get into it. I'm gonna take a little Indian yellow and just go up here and make little crisscross strokes and start like so. Okay, it's the middle of the canvas. Let's go. Oh my god. Definitely need more color. up to here and I have to hold the easel because otherwise it's gonna fall <laughs> I'm sorry Bob if you're watching from Evan um, I'm sorry I shouldn't be painting well this is gonna be a really beautiful sunset sky right um, so beautiful Okay, let's go on. Little yellow ochre. Right After right Indian yellow, there. what do we need? Right in there. Something like Indian that. yellow. That's all there is to it. But these little crisscross strokes make it much easier to blend color together than making stripes. Okay. Yellow ochre over the orange. We do have yellow ochre, so that's better. Let's start from here then. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. This is disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. Maybe we'll use a little alizarin crimson. We'll just use some warm colors back here in the background. Alizarin crimson, it's a beautiful, well, now beautiful Well, Bob's uses form. crimson, so we do have crimson. And it goes over the ochre. See how much orange? Ah, disgusting, I'm sorry guys. See, it's too dark. I 
I'm ashamed of this. But that's, I mean, at least you can tell I cannot paint, right? This is disgusting. <laughs> oh no, my God. It's kind of blended, but it's very dark. I don't know if you can see on camera, probably not. Let's go on. Let's go into a little bit of thalo blue. The thalo blue is so much stronger than the crimson that we won't even have to clean the brush. We can just go right into it. And let's go up in here. Let's start on the very top. Make now I have to clean the brush because we're going to the blue colors. So um, I cannot be the devil on the brush like Bob does. I just realized that I don't have the right liquid thing to clean out the oil paint out of the brush. So as you can see, there's still orange, yellow and red on the brush. And now we're going to the blues. <laughs> so that's so good. Okay, go, let's go back. Little, little crisscross strokes again. Little X's. They don't paint the entire and we're doing the sky. remainder of the sky. Okay. We don't have Thalo Blue, this is actually ultramarine color, um, so there's that. Let's see how that goes. And I didn't take enough color. Disgusting. This blue is not pigmented at all. I mean, I didn't expect this to come out good, but not this bad. Definitely not pastel skies. This is more like a before the storm kind of scene. Like, I don't know. Oh my god. I don't think I can do better than this. That's our sky. So beautiful, so majestic, so pastel. With a little bit of blue. Just bring it, bring it down to the crimson and stop. Once again, the blue is so much stronger than the crimson. It'll just eat up all okay. the crimson in your world. So I have to go down here as well. So let's that's the content you signed up for because that's so good. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay. Let's just take, maybe we'll have a little water down here. Then again, maybe we won't. But let's just put a little blue in to see what happens. Because we don't care. The water can be this dark. I'm going to switch up with another blue. Yeah. There we go. Let's go with the water. The water is going to be so high. <laughs> I mean, it's lighter than the sky, but definitely not lighter as, not light as Bob's. I want to blend these colors, but they just sink in the canvas and they just don't blend. I'm starting to give up, guys. Um, I haven't actually watched the video, I just watched the colors I needed, if I had the colors, and I saw the thumbnail, and it was a pastel sky like you're watching, but it's, it's not pastel at all. Right now I'm going to use the yellow I have, it's lemon yellow, so it's not even the yellow he uses. Um, I want to put a little bit of yellow here, so because there's definitely yellow on his paint, and I use this orange orange at the beginning so I want to put a little bit of yellow off camera and you'll see just a little bit of yellow here. 
I don't know what this is anymore. Like, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Cut off a little roll of paint. Not like it. And maybe, yep. Yeah. We back in here lives just a little hill. So we have black, blue, and white. And we need a spatula or a knife. I don't know how you want to call it. is not looking so bad so far it kind of looks like a mountain but definitely not the best mountain you know maybe right under here somewhere okay, so we're going okay, up to a, another mountain a little mountain a that's right on. there just a just a nice little mountain little friendly guy I'm gonna try here. I don't know what I'm actually doing. At this point, we're just, I don't know. Let's take a little titanium white. I'm gonna put the least little touch of bright red in it. Since there's some pink in the sky, maybe there's a hint of pink. This is gonna go, this is where it's going down. I mean, it's already it's down, but it's touch. going no pressure, even no pressure, no pressure. lower than we already no are. No pressure at all. Just let it float. Let it float and play oh very gosh, gently, so very, very gently. said no pressure, no pressure. worse I don't know what I'm doing at this point anymore um, like no clue okay and let's come right up in here let's get this your bravery test maybe what the bravery heck? test there's a big mountain he lives maybe he's got an old jagged arm that sticks out like that mountains grow ever which way have fun with them Okay, so we're going on like a big mountain over here. You said a little dent. I'm trying so hard, guys. This is the best I can do, I swear. I'm scared to do this part. I'm supposed to go over the mountain to bring down the color. And I actually want to see how much it's going to take me to edit this video because, I don't know, it's more than two hours that I'm filming this when the actual video is 24 minutes long, Bob's video, so let's go. Okay, we need some, we need some highlights on this mountain. Doesn't matter, we'll just use whatever color we got going here. Strong mountain. Want him to have a lot of character. We don't like wimpy little mountains. We like big mountains. Of course, sometimes we paint little wimpy mountains. That's all right. He makes it look so effortly, and is actually really not. I think we're good. Well, I tried, you know. Okay, the lighting is getting really bad, so I need to hurry up. Um, I have to go to the greenery part. And you know me. Shoot, I like them trees. Let's do a tree. Use a fan brush, load it full of color. A lot of paint. A lot of paint. My little squirrels have to have a tree to look Fresh and blue, black, so let's give them brown. One. Right there. Doop. There. Here comes a tree. Lives in your fan brush. There they are. Just let them pop right out. Notice where we ruin it. Does this look like a tree? Probably not. 
Boy, I'm covering up most of my mountain here. I didn't mean to do all that. So we're doing another. Doesn't matter. One more. One more little tree. Lips right out. Tree here. over here. All right. Maybe we're a pile right. looking down. Space on the tree color. Let's take some of that and pull it over. There's another place. Maybe it comes, maybe it comes all the way around. I don't know. All right, um, what else? Let's go back up in here and let's put some highlights right on our trees. There they go. They gotta make those little noises. Some over here, just a few, just a few. Big tree needs some too. Big old tree needs some. Yellow and there. yellow ochre. Thank you, neighbor. Okay. Done, Take a little dark sand, a little Van Dyke brown, mix them together. We need some big rocks that live back in here. So we'll just put some little doers in here like that. Because the browns and rocks. I'm back um, actually the camera cut off because my phone storage is full and it stopped recording it cut off when I was finishing the painting just the last bits I'll show you what's the final result this is the result to be honest from far away is not even that bad it cut off when I was doing the rocks right here and I just added a little bit of grass and highlights like Bob did and then I finished like that. I tried my best guys, this is the best I could do. Um, I actually kind of like it at the end, it turned out not that bad, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's not as good as Bob's but um, I'm fine. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video because it helps me a lot and I hope you enjoyed it because I tried my best. And subscribe because next week part 2 is coming and hint. It's gonna be about makeup. I don't know how that will go, but we'll see hopefully better than this week. I don't know. So that's it for this week's video. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. guys for this week's video i'll see you guys next thursday next thursday <laughs>